Welcome to our first official press conference in the new arena. A really special day today. We're thrilled to have Marquette headed into this new arena with us for the next seven years. Over the last few months, we sat down with Marquette, who is a vital partner, not only for us in this arena, but in the community, in the academic world, and we're excited to forge a new direction in sports and entertainment in the city of Milwaukee. Marquette basketball is an institution. We're proud to root the Golden Eagles into last year's NCAAs and to many NCAAs in the future. And like us, with the goal to win an NCAA championship, much like we want to win an NBA championship. We're thrilled to be partnering with one of the world's preeminent academic institutions. There's no better neighbor, no better partner than Marquette University. Before I go any further, as they say, it takes a village. I'd like to thank some of the people who sat in the room for countless hours, from uh, our friend and partner, Bill Scholl, the athletic director, to Mike Broker, to Dave Lohler. I can't thank Mike Lovell's team enough for getting to this point. We are beyond excited. I also want to thank our team at the Bucks. This, this took a group of people with our CFO, Pat McDonough, with our chief counsel, Mike Sneathern, and with our head of business development, Matt Pizaris. This team spent a lot of time together and got to a great place. Thank everybody very much. We also have in attendance our, our new GM, John Horst, who's here, who will love this building. We've got uh, our coach, Wojo, who, uh, who's here and will talk to us. And uh, a pretty good point guard as well. We're hoping Wojo and Jason Kent could lead both of our teams into great places. Now I'd like to introduce publicly for one of the first times, really one of the quarterbacks of this entire project, and certainly as we move forward into Bucks and Marquette operations, the general manager of the new arena, Raj Saha. Thank you, Peter. There really is something special about college athletics and college basketball. And there's no doubt in my mind that when this building opens in 2018, that we're gonna have a great and special environment for Marquette, for the students, the student athletes, the alumni, and all Marquette fans to be proud of. I've been part of now, this will be my third Big East building, first with St. John's at Madison Square Garden, then Seton Hall at Prudential Center. And there's no doubt in my mind that due to the architecture of this building, and the sight lines that this will be the best atmosphere, not just in the Big East, but in college basketball. I'd also like to thank two people as well, Michael Broker and Aaron Baker, as we partnered with them on the NCAA tournament bids and we were able to land the 2022 first and second rounds of the NCAAs. Thank you very much. Really looking forward to Marquette playing in our building. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce really one of the true visionaries of our city, a true developer and great partner from day one, the president of Marquette, Michael Lovell. Oh, well, thank you, Peter. And uh, it's great to be here today. And uh, I will say it took a little time for us, Peter, to get here. And I will say you've done your New Yorkers proud. You are a pretty shrewd negotiator here. But I'll say he didn't realize that we had the Jesuits and the Catholic Guild on our side, so that really helped us get here today. Uh, but in all seriousness, Peter, you've been such a great partner to us. Uh, we are so excited to be in this facility. Uh, to be able to play in a world-class facility, the newest arena in the country, is such a great thing for our university. Our players' experience, our fan experience, our students, our alumni, so much of our brand is based on our college basketball program. And we are just launching into our second 100, 100 years uh, of our program. And what a great place for us to start than in this new arena. You know, when I walked in today, I've not been here yet, I was just blown away about how intimate this is gonna feel. And I couldn't be more excited that the Bucks Arena is now our new home as well. And I think about, if, as we walked in, all the development going around uh, the arena as well. We're very proud to be part of the Bucks because we're not just gonna build our new basketball arena, but we're going to help redefine the city of Milwaukee. So I thank everyone who was part of this year, both from our team and the Bucks team, and I can just say great things are going to come. Thank you. 
And uh, without further ado, I do want to introduce Bill Scholl, our athletic director, who again was instrumental in bringing us here today. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lovell. Uh, like, like a lot of the folks before me, there's so many people to thank. Uh, we're, we're blessed to have the uh, chairman of our board of trustees with us today, Owen Sullivan, uh, longtime Marquette, uh, I'm sorry, longtime Milwaukee resident and a Marquette graduate, and his guidance throughout this process to me was invaluable. So, Owen, thank you. Uh, Dave Lawler and Mike Broker, you've heard their names. Uh, the, the work they did to help push this along on a daily basis uh, was truly amazing. Uh, on the Buck side, certainly, Peter, uh, we spent a lot of time together, probably more than you wanted to. But we got here. But we got here. I even spent time with his twin brother. That's how hard this one was to do. Um, and then uh, Mike Sneather and, of course, the Buck CFO, Pat uh, McDonough. Pat was, again, instrumental in making sure this thing moved along on a daily basis. You know, we're one of the few college basketball programs that gets to play in an NBA arena. And thanks to our history in the Bradley Center, we've been playing in the Bucks arena for decades. And it has really allowed us to forge a very special bond with a very special asset in this community, the Milwaukee Bucks. And it's something we're really proud of. Milwaukee's a great basketball town. There's no question about that. You see it uh, in, in the passion that our students and alumni and our fans show at all of our games. You see it when the NCAA tournament comes to town. Uh, it simply takes over the downtown area and they're coming back in 2022. And again, I think it's another example of the great partnership between the Bucks and Marquette uh, to be able to get the NCAA tournament here every so often. Um, and you certainly can see it as you think about the young Bucks team that is on the rise. And we are truly privileged to be a part of all of the excitement that surrounds basketball in the Milwaukee market. Playing in this arena will be a privilege for our student athletes and it'll be an incredible thrill for our fan base. This is a showcase for basketball. It's what I believe will be the finest basketball arena in the world, certainly for some period of time. And it's a privilege for us to play in it. At the end of the day, we can't wait for opening night to get here. Believe it or not, it's just barely over a year away. So we are, we are thrilled to be a part of this uh, program with the Bucks. We're very excited to be here. And Raj, it's great to hear that we're your third Big East school. Uh, so you know the importance of Saturday nights when it comes to scheduling. So you can call the NBA and tell them we need some nights. Just, just kidding. Uh, thank you for being here. We're excited to be here. Go Bucks. Go Marquette. Oh. And now it's time to bring up the man who's responsible for winning tons of games in the new arena. We are blessed to have him as our head coach. He's entering his fourth season at Marquette, fresh off an NCAA tournament appearance. Our head coach, Steve Wojciechowski. Thank you. Uh, what an incredible day uh, for Marquette University, for our men's basketball program. And I want to thank the Bucks, Peter, and, and your team for being such great partners uh, at the Bradley Center and now with this new arena. I can remember when I first got the job uh, a little over three years ago, uh, some of my first nights in Milwaukee were spent with Peter as this building was in its uh, very beginning stages. And we would go around to different parts of the community and try to explain to them why a new arena uh, would be a win for all of Milwaukee and the Wisconsin community. And at that point, I came at it from two different perspectives. The first perspective was that of a member of the community. And to walk in here today and to, sit and to think back when this was just a, you know, a hope, a dream, and at the beginning stages and walk in here today and to see how far along the building is, uh, excitement uh, does not do the way I feel justice. Uh, this is incredible. It's incredible. Uh, I think for the entire city and the state of Wisconsin. And I think this is gonna be one of the crown jewels of the city and certainly uh, in the NBA is gonna be the finest arena. I also look at it from the perspective as the head coach at Marquette who gets to bring his team in here and compete with, in the finest building, the finest arena in the United States. You know, for us to be able to tell our players in the recruiting process and why they're with us uh, that they will get to be a part of excellence and they will get to experience excellence in every way. This arena is just another symbol of that. And I know my staff and I, our players, 
uh, they are incredibly excited. And we've had renderings of this building up in my office for, seems like forever. And it's the attention grabber when people walk in the office. And now that we'll, in, in a year, uh, get to be able to actually play and compete in this uh, fine building uh, is just a, is a thrill. And I'm so happy that uh, this day has arrived and I can't wait to open the building up uh, with our team, uh, our Marquette team, as we begin a new era uh, in our partnership with the Bucks in this arena. So thank you very much. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, the Bucks. And thanks to the leadership at Marquette uh, for working with them to make this happen. So thank you.